Okay, um, so the next step in the series, so um, I don't know what video we're on now, but um, in this video, we're going to start actually creating some illustrations and using some of the tools that we've learned in the previous videos to create something that looks a little bit better than a couple of squares in a circle. So we're back in Illustrator. We're going to create a new file. So click on new file. Um, as I said before, starting with A4 page is fine. You might want to do it landscape or portrait. It doesn't really matter. You can change it. I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, so let's just create. Okay. So on the task that I've set you, uh, I've asked you to create some fruit shapes. So in this um, video, we're going to learn how to draw things and create things uh, using Illustrator. So for the task, it asks you to do three different um, fruit. Um, and so to do this, probably the best thing to do is to find some pictures. So one thing that's always useful when you're creating a drawing or an illustration is reference. So let's just find some fruit. So let's just go for, let's go for lemon. And let's click on images and let's see what we've got. So I want a picture that's got a fairly good um, image. Let's go for this one. It's got some leaves. It's also got some lemon slices. So we've got a bit of scope there. So we just copy it. So right click copy, go back to Illustrator, Control V, and we've got a picture of some lemons. You notice it always has a white background unless it's transparency. And let's get another one. Let's go for melon. Lemon and melon. Um, but I want a watermelon, so let's just type in watermelon. And let's again go for one where we can see a bit of white. And so we want to be able to see um, the outside and the inside. Um, let's go for that one. It's okay. I have to stop. Probably cut an edge. And then paste. Big image. So let's just scale this down. So if I don't hold shift down, it will distort the picture. So by holding shift down, it constrains the proportions of the image. So we've got we've got some reference now. So we can actually look at something when we're drawing. And it's really important to have reference because if you don't have reference to something, you are drawing from imagination and you might not always get that right. <clears throat> Just got a cup of tea because my throat is going to be dry. Um, so let's start off with lemon. So let's just look at let's just look at it for a start. So it's yellow. Um, it's got like um, when you cut it in half, it's got these segments. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine segments. Um, it's shiny because it's got reflection on the outside. The leaves are green with a very simple shape. They're not very serrated or anything like that. Um, so you know, when we start drawing this, we don't have to start tracing it. Um, tracing it is a little bit lazy. Um, you know, you are the, being directed by whatever that image looks like rather than creating your own. So use it as inspiration rather than actual just, you know, drawing and copying it. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep this quite simple, the, these illustrations. So we're going to go for a very, very sort of flat, flat sort of like, um, 2D image. So what we're going to do is I'm going to draw the, the lemon. So I'm going to start off with using the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw a circle. And let's just go change that to a colour. Now we're not bothered about what colour we're using at the moment. We're just creating shapes. So let's just say we're going to create uh, this. So I'm going to need another, um, another, I've got the outer circle and I'm going to need the inner circle. So I'm going to need to divide this up. So let's let's just start off by dividing this up. So let's start off by creating the segments. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some lines through it. And I'm going to try and keep them in the centre. So I've held shift down a lot to make sure that they're straight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to position these so they all go through the center. And we'll see why in a minute. So let me just zoom in. 
And then we just go to outline. So what I'm going to do is make sure that all these lines go through the center point because we want them all to touch. I think it's pretty close. Still a little bit there. Not quite center. Not quite center. You'll find that when you start working in Illustrator, the more accurate you can be, the less faffing around you'll have to do later on. Um, it pays to be accurate at the beginning um, and the stage four hours back down at the end. So I've divided that into eight. I know there's nine on there, but nine's a really difficult number to sort of like divide up into a circle when you're starting to learn how to use Illustrator. There are ways of doing it. Um, but we're just going to keep it simple. Um, I don't think anybody ever has counted the segments in a lemon. So, um, you know, if you have, I'm sorry that there's only eight on this one. So we're going to select it all and using the pathfinder, we're going to use the divide tool to cut it all up. And it's nicely got rid of all those little leftover bits that were sticking out the edge and given us all actually until you ungroup it right now, object to ungroup. It's given us some little slices like pizza slices. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't press record on that. Hmm. Okay, so the first part of this audio is going to be rubbish um, and now it's going to get a lot better. Because I've just pressed record on the microphone. Um, I can now see it counting up. Schoolboy over there. So there we go. We all make mistakes. Okay, so um, we've now got our segments, and what we want to do is we want to flip this from being white on the inside and pink on the inside outside, so they're solid shapes. So let's just flip them around, and we're going to get rid of the line. So we've now got these segments. Okay, so let's hit, let's select them all. And if you can see on here, they've got like a curved edge. They've not angled. They've got a curve, little curve to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully be able to do this in one go. Let's see. Now, can you see that one's got one, that one's got one, that one's got one, but these two haven't and these two haven't. It's because of when I drew it, what's going to have happened is there's going to be two points on some of these bits of pizza. So we're gonna have to like do a little bit of um, digging and getting rid of those in a bit. But for the for the time being, we'll be able to do the, the other bits. Um, so we're gonna use what's called the selection tool, the lasso tool, and we're gonna lasso the points. So this is a new tool for you. You haven't used this before. And it's just a way of lassoing the points that you want to grab hold of. So as long as your lasso goes around them, it's, it's selected all those. Now, I could have drawn a selection over it, but it would have got the ones in the middle as well. It would have got these. So I just wanted the outside edge one, so I used the lasso. So now I can go to the, my uh, direct selection tool and then grab hold of my little uh, circles here and then drag. And so it's creating that sort of like curved shape of, oops, of the uh, lemon. Now then, let's see, where we, let's see what the problem is in here. So let's just go in here. So let's find out which one's have got so that one's got a point this one hasn't so I'm guessing that there's more than one point here so we're just going to delete one of those points there we go so that's got the point back has that one gone let's delete one of those points let's see has it come back now no, let's delete another point there it goes come back that one's okay that one's probably got more points it's still got points so let's just oh no that one's back and then this one minus Right, so it now looks like they've all, oh that one doesn't, there we go. So they've all now got um, circles to be able to curve the uh, inner radiuses of those points. So again we can get the lasso tool, circle around those, go back to the arrow tool, and now you can see they've all got a little circle so I can pull those and create the center point. There we go. So we've got now a starting point for our um, segments. The segments though don't touch, they've got a little gap in between. Now we could put an outline around them 
I could just select those and get an outline and say put a white outline on it and that would do the job so you could do that so that's, that's a way around it but I think that might create some problems later on um, especially when I'm coloring this sort of like the pith area that's what I said pith <laughs> um, so it's that white bit that goes around the segments that keeps them in position so that and then the, the bit around the edge here that's also white so um, it might be easy just to make these uh, shapes rather than uh, having an outline so let's just get rid of that outline okay Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use the transform tool. So we can go object transform. And if we go to transform each, we can transform each of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to move them. So let's move them on the horizontal scale a little bit. On the vertical scale, except it's done it the wrong way. Hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Um, and scale it down a little bit. There we go. And there. So let's go for like 90% there. And we'll go for three millimeters there. And that should be, click on the preview button. That's okay. You can see there's a bit more of gap here and here, but we can nudge those back in together again. We can sort that out. So let's go okay there. And then let's uh, bring this in. So I'm just going to nudge this together using the arrow key, select a nose, and nudge those up using the arrow keys. And we've kind of like got our segments now. So that's fairly good. So we've got our segments now for that. So let's group that together. So object group and just put that to one side. So you can see um, they've got holes in between. So the next thing we're going to need is we're going to need um, the outer edge. So let's draw another circle. So another circle. I'm going to flick that round so it's a, a solid line and the no fill and then we need to position these two together so we need this this one to be inside this one now we could spend a lot of time just like trying to eyeball it and you can get pretty close but let's use the align function to do that so select them both under align next to pathfinder so center horizontally center vertically and it's now put that those segments smack bang in the middle of that circle So, we can now start building our lemon a little bit more. So this, we've got a, an outer edge here. Let's make that a little bit thicker. So it, the skin of the lemon is, is much thicker than, we just need to hold down, which one is it? I'm used to being on a Mac. So, uh, oops, not that one. <laughs> Control Z. So is it that Windows Windows Alt? No. Uh, control Windows. Is that it? No, it's not Control. Uh, Windows Alt. No. It's definitely not that, is it? Okay, bear with me for a second while I learn uh, the shortcut key on the PC for um, creating it to scale from the center. At the moment, I'm not having an awful lot of luck. Bear with me. No, it's not that one. Um, alt. Ah, there we go. Is it just Alt? Yes, it's just Alt. Shift. Right, so there we go. So Alt, Shift on the keyboard. It's different on a Mac. Um, you can make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to make that a little bit fatter. It looks like it's gone off center to me. Is it? There we go. Let's just do it again. That's better. Okay. So now I can make that outline a little bit thicker about there. So we've got the outer edge, the inner bit, and the segments. So that's looking pretty much like a lemon to me. Um, Maybe a pink grapefruit if you're being like pedantic, but um, yeah, it's kind of like looking like a, a lemon shape. So we can color this now. So let's um, let's put that in yellow, and let's put this in yellow as well, like so. So now it definitely looks like a lemon. Okay, so we're good. So let's just add another artboard and let's start 
moving on from that. So we're going to go to outboards, add an outboard. No, I added a layer. Outboard, outboard. And then I'm going to copy, Control C, Control V, and move this over here. So now we can work on this over here. Now, one thing that you can do is you can convert a line to a shape. So at the moment, if I want to change the color of this, I have to do it in two bits. So I can't just select it all and go, I want it yellow, because it'll just fill it all in yellow. Because it's made up of a line that's yellow and a fill that's yellow. They're not they're, they're separate. If I make this one a line, I just get an outline. And if I make that one a fill, I get a solid. So ideally, what I'd ideally want is I'd want both of them to be fills. Okay. So what I can do is I can select this, this line and go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. And what it's going to do is it's going to outline the stroke. So I'm going to get a line, a path here and a path here, the thickness of the line. You see? So that's now a fill. It's no longer a line. It's a fill now. So I can now select all of those together and you can see that they're all the same color. It, it's only confused because it doesn't understand that I've, what I've done. But I can now change them all to one color now and just click around my artboard. Ooh, a line. Maybe that's a line. Orange. It's such a versatile shape we've created. <laughs> Um, maybe I should have picked lime, orange, and lemon. Um, then I wouldn't have had to draw so many things. Anyway, um, let's go back. So we've got our lemon now. And the good thing about our lemon is it's made up of fills. There's no lines at all, so we can easily convert it. So I can now group it all together. So object group. And I can scale it so I can make it bigger and smaller. Like so. So the last little thing we want to do to our lemon is probably create some leaves. So if we look at the leaf shape, it's like an eye shape like this. So the very simple way of doing that. So we're going to use the ellipse tool. And I'm going to create one ellipse, copy paste, and put another ellipse down here. So they're overlapping each other. And I'm looking for this shape here. So if you've been listening, you'll probably think, I know what Pete's going to do. He's going to use the Pathfinder. So he's going to go to Pathfinder. And he's going to use that option there, intersect. And Bosch, we've got a leaf. So let's get a color from our swatch. Let's go for a nice rich green color. So there we go. So there's a leaf. Rotate it round. And let's put actually let's put it on a 45 degree angle. So if you want to do something on 45 degree, you just hold shift and it'll do. Uh, 45 and 90. So let's do 45. There we go. That keeps it nice and um, so like geometric. So let's just move that to the back. So object, arrange, center back. Now, can you see what we've got here? We've got a bit of a problem because when we change that line to a fill, it got rid of the bit that's the white. So what we've got actually got now is we've got a hollow bit. So we need to rectify that. So simply done, all we need to do is draw a circle again. So we can draw a circle. As long as it's bigger than the inside and smaller than the outside, that's all that matters. Let's just move that to one side and then just align it again. So align, center, center. And then we're going to make that white. And then we're going to object, arrange, center back and then group that again, object group. So now we've got a solid. So we can put our leaf back in there. So we've got a leaf, so let's just add another little leaf. Let's looks a bit lonely on its own there. So copy paste, scale it down a little bit and then just bring it into position. Let's put that in that. 100 degrees and send to the back. So object, arrange, send to back. That looks cool. That looks good. I like that. 
I'm liking my lemon. So that I'm happy with that. So we're going to group that object group. So that's our lemon shape done. In the next video, we're going to look at the melon and we're going to look at how we can create a melon. So I'll see you in the next video.